have a warning tonight for pet owners. Dogs in Marion County are under attack, but not from what you might expect. Yeah, in fact, tonight, animal shelters, even vets, they're now saying there's an increase in the parvovirus, and it is a direct threat to all of your pets. Our own Kevin Rader tonight explains why just keeping them at home simply is not enough. Marion County is currently seeing an increase in reports of the parvovirus in dogs. Parvo is life-threatening for the animals that are exposed to it, and we really need people to get their animals vaccinated. For the Indianapolis Animal Care Service, the problem seems to be with dogs that are surrendered. We do see more of it this time of year, but we also see more puppies coming in this time of year. Um, so animals can get parvo year-round. It does live in the soil for a long time once it's been in your house or in the environment. So far, we've been lucky, and we haven't had any deaths, but we do see a lot of deaths in the community, um, especially those that come from requests for help with urgent care. Hobson started SOAR five years ago. She takes in the pets from the homeless who are seeking help until they can get back on their feet. Dr. Leslie Brooks is a veterinarian for SOAR. So if you go to dog parks or even just walking around the, the block, there's a chance that they could be exposed at any point as well. The good news is there is a simple vaccine the dog can take to prevent the virus. But there are plenty of low-cost clinics in Indianapolis and surrounding communities. Um, it can be as cheap as 10 to 15 dollars or less than that. And you can save the life of someone's best friend. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Now Witness News. We will let you know there are several symptoms of parvo that you should be looking out for. Pet MD says the main one is blood when your dog goes to the bathroom or if they're acting uncharacteristically lethargic, they have a fever or suffer severe weight loss.